So to demonstrate uh, the use of a diffuser, and I have a couple of uh, varying uh, types of diffusers that you can uh, utilize or improvise for your photos for the, uh, the exercise. Now, we mentioned the diffuser that is built into the camera and um, whether or not you ought to use that. For this part of the exercise, I, I, I would probably leave it on, but it's not necessary. But certainly we want you to experience the other aspects uh, using the other diffusers. So in this case here, we have a white uh, plastic waste paper basket that uh, light transmission can come through. Now we've talked about diffused light as, a, as opposed uh, to um, a specular light, which is more concentrated and is uh, more of a mirror uh, reflection of whatever the um, the, uh, the incidence light is that's striking it. So for this purpose is here, uh, we're going to show you momentarily the position of where the artifact is that's being photographed, but uh, for for our purposes now, we're just going to demonstrate to use the flashlight or to use a flash unit to uh, strike the outside of the, um, the box. The light will uh, be diffused as it's passing through the box and create more of an even lighting effect where that light is, is, um, is more diffused, more even, less shadowing effect, and, and certainly less uh, specular light striking the surface uh, for a more uh, evenly illuminated foreground. So in this case here, I put a, I put a toonie in the bottom of the, uh, of the box here and uh, I changed the angle here now because obviously you have to do this perpendicular to whatever the subject is. So if, if you are going to use the angle of the box like this, uh, obviously you can't um, photograph through the top, you would have to photograph this way. So in a case like that, the object would have to be suspended so that it can be photographed on a perpendicular angle when you're uh, um, photographing it straight on. Using it in this, in this uh, orientation here is more effective for getting on, on a perpendicular position, whether uh, freehold or by using a tripod stand. Uh, but now you have the added uh, concern of above lighting. So creating a, a tenting effect to block out that light, or if you have the option, turning that overhead light off so that the only light striking the surface is what you have created and are introducing to the subject. So this is an illustration here of using those articulating arms in the alligator clips to suspend the object so that it can be photographed uh, straight on, such as this. Either, again, freehold uh, camera uh, positioning or by using it on a tripod. This. Uh, in effect, uh, defeats the, uh, the impact of uh, the overhead lighting. You can see it's, it's within a shadowed effect. So only the light that's being introduced uh, by you, the photographer, is going to be affecting the, uh, the quality of the image. So you don't need to be concerned about overhead lighting in a situation like this. You can see by pulling this out further that now the overhead light is now a concern and potentially uh, creating a problem. Uh, in this case here, we've got uh, cutouts for these hand, uh, hand holds on the baskets. And again, that the lighting is coming through the hole, which is creating a problem. So if you insert it further back into the, the box where it's more in the shadow effect, then it's, uh, it's eliminating that issue. So here you can see I've, uh, I've put the basket back to an upright position for an overhead photograph. You can see the interference of the light from above these overhead fluorescent lights. Again, by creating a shadowing effect, you can kind of mitigate that, uh, that issue. I'll put it uh, closer so the, uh, the holes from the handle are not interfering with it. But you can see now it's created a more of a shadowing effect. And again, you can introduce the light as needed and control that light striking the surface. So for, the, uh, for those of you that are at home and in, uh, incapable of making it to campus, um, just so you know, these uh, waste paper baskets that we purchased, we just got them from a local baller store. Uh, you can see that, uh, that uh, the light does pass through it, but uh, it does um, uh, uh, work quite effectively for that. Um, in lieu of that, um, 
And as part of the, the practical, uh, even s simply improvising by using a, uh, a piece of uh, uh, eight and a half by 11 uh, paper, um, just put some tape along the margin here, and just creating a, uh, uh, a tube of some sort, just to, uh, to kind of effectively do the same thing. We're basically just creating a, um, uh, a diffusing system and uh, putting your artifact inside. You can always cut this to whatever size, size is necessary. Again, so now you've got the opening so that the, the uh, camera lens can be inserted either just sitting on top or uh, even to assist with uh, uh, eliminating even, even more unwanted light, inserting the lens down into the cylinder and, uh, and then introducing your light source, either your external flash or using a flashlight or other auxiliary lighting source um, coming in from the side angularly and then allowing that, uh, that diffused light to uh, properly eliminate your subject.